it all started when I was a kid. I was reading the book by uh, Dan Jenkins, Semi Tough. And in this humorous fictional story, uh, the star running back, Billy Clyde Puckett, refers to his old Shrine Game wristwatch, award wristwatch. The Cotton Bowl Classic is known for its long, rich tradition. And while to some, tradition might be collecting posters or collecting tickets, Keith Hugator, a college football historian, collects Cotton Bowl watches. And I always had that in my head. The Shrine Game gave out wristwatches, and I realized other bowl games did too. So uh, I thought, well, it'd be fun to, you know, collect, um, you know, Longhorn Bowl game watches. So one of the things the Cotton Bowl did to be attractive to other teams, it gave nice prizes, nice awards, nice, nice watches. They, they become available when somebody doesn't want them anymore. Maybe they're tired of changing out the batteries. Um, they move a few times. Even the, even the old ones are really, they're, there's, they're not that expensive uh, to collect. And I think it's because of the, the they, watches require some kind of maintenance. My, my best watches are ones that bring back good memories of great Longhorn seasons from the Cotton Bowl, as well as uh, an interesting watch. Uh, it creates a nice niche for me. Um, I mean, I, I appreciate this. There's a small community that appreciates this. I fear a larger community getting involved <laughs> and driving prices up. <laughs>